said, I've got another snapped euro. This one's only got five pins, but when I say it's only got five pins, I don't mean it's an easy lock to pick. Trust me, this one is a fighter. It's got a cool logo on the front. It's got letters CC with a key between them. Not got a clue what that is, not come across it before. It's probably a common lock and I've just never stumbled across one. So let me know what the CC stands for, if you know. And we're gonna to try to pick it open. So I've got the pinning tray out ready because I wanna see what's inside because it's a, uh, yeah, it's a good lock to pick this. Let's see if we can get it open first. It goes into some deep full sets. And uh, sometimes it even jams up on you. So it would be nice to have a look what's going off inside. Try to keep close because I want you to see the movement on that core. Yeah, we've got some movement then. We need to have a full set straight away. See if I can just get back out of it. Sometimes you've got to just wiggle on the pin rather than push it back into the full set. Yeah, this is uh, definitely got something different in there anyway. It feels like that. Probably pick it open now and find out it's just got standard pins in. No, it's definitely got some cracking off in there. You've got to sort of angle the pick round. Because once it locks up in there, you can't get your pick in. You are back into the full set again. That's what happens, you go in and out, in and out. Back into that full set again. This may take a bit of time, so bear with me. Go and have a cup of tea, come back in five minutes. Stuck on that back pin there. And we get it. So yeah, what a tricky little lock to pick. So now we've got to open it up and see what's in there. First of all, let's get this sort of clip off. But let me put this in so it doesn't spin round. I don't want to lock it back up again. It took so long to pick it. Right, sort of clip. I still hate these things. This one isn't too bad, but I still like getting sir clips off. Am I gonna stab myself or are we gonna get this off without too much problems? It's coming, there we go. So that's off. Now we need to push this through. I wonder what's in there, what's been causing me such problems. Obviously, they all needed picking. Let's have a quick look. So 
So here's the key pins. Right, let's put this back in a minute and twist it around. This is what I want to see what's inside now. Come on, I'm all fingers and thumbs again today. Here we go then, let's see what was causing me problems. The first one's a spool. The second one's a spool. The third one's a spool. The fourth one's a spool. And then the last pin is a standard. So you add four spools in and a standard. Let's have a quick look at the springs. Yeah, copper springs. So yeah, please, if you know what that CC is on the logo, let me know. Get that up a bit. Try to keep them in a straightish line. And that's what was in there. Will it zoom in? Probably not. I'll stick a photo at the end like I normally do anyway. Well, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.